the move. For you, this movie. The move. Yeah, <laughs> you have to. Moving on now, it's time for opening this week, brought to you by our friends over at AMC. What's coming out this week, Natasha? The Infiltrator in 1986, federal agent Robert Mazur, played by Brian Cranston, goes undercover to infiltrate the trafficking network of Colombian drug kingpin Pablo Escobar. Working with fellow agents Kathy Ertz, played by Diane Kruger, and Amir Abreu, played by John Leguizamo, Mazur poses as a slick money laundering businessman named Bob Musella, gaining the confidence of Robert Alcano, played by Benjamin Bratt, Escobar's top lieutenant. Mazur must navigate a vicious criminal underworld where one wrong move could cost him everything and we've got cafe society looking for an exciting career young bobby dorfman leaves new york for the glitz and glamour of 1930s hollywood after landing a job with his uncle bobby falls for vani a charming woman who happens to be his employer's mistress settling for friendship but ultimately heartbroken bobby returns to the bronx and begins working in a nightclub everything falls into place when he finds romance with a beautiful socialite until vani walks back into his life and captures his heart once again all right, I'm going to start with The Infiltrator, which I saw. Um, when we saw this trailer, I was really on board for this movie because I was hoping for like another Donnie Brasco mm -hmm, type. Sure. It's obviously another true story. What I will tell you about this movie is that I enjoy the performance of Brian Cranston. He's just one of those guys you want to follow in every scene that he's in. He's just one of those actors, and he's really good in it. Like, it was almost pretty good. The chemistry between both Brian Cranston and Diane Kruger has done very well. I just missed the edge that I was hoping the movie would have. There were a couple of times, like in every one of these movies where someone infiltrates uh, or is going undercover, there's always the scene of like, uh-oh, my cover's almost blown. i got to really show that I'm in this. And those type of scenes just didn't work. It almost seemed like, oh, it, it seemed like a movie. Movie. And like even the ending was a little disappointing, but I think it's a good cable watch. I do. I, I think it's a good movie that if you're just you kind of stumble upon it. Oh, I remember when this movie came out, and you watch it, you'll be you'll be um, pleasantly you'll be you'll be okay with it. I think it's just this movie didn't hit the way I wanted it to. The Woody Allen movie, I I want to hear things about too. I, you're a Woody Allen fan, yeah? Sure, I am. What do you think about this one? You know, I'm interested to see this one more than a lot of the other uh, Woody Allen, his latest films, because this goes back to a time period where he's written so many successful kind of fun films uh, like Bullets Over Broadway. I mean, that that's what this reminds me of. Mm -hmm. So I know it's not going to have that kind of sensibility and that kind of humor. But uh, The Infiltrator, you know, I'm gonna, I, I'm bummed I was going to go see it in the theater. But no, no it's like, <laughs> you know, I like the trailer, but it reminded me of like, like you said, Donnie Brasco had yeah. a little m blow going on in there. But, you know, I, I'm still interested in seeing The Infiltrator. Yeah. And I, I'm also interested in seeing Cafe Society. Of all the recent Woody Allen films, that's the one that I'm like, all right, I, I definitely want to check that one out. All right, Jason, how about you? Which one stand out? Uh, of the two, I, I'm, gonna, I'm leaning Infiltrator, just okay. for the simple fact of Brian Cranston's performance. Like, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, I haven't seen it, but it sounds it sounds like they played it safe, which is what some of those movies do. Sometimes they mm -hmm. just like a paint by numbers kind of plot, almost a little bit. Like, no surprises, no turns. But I feel like Brian Cranston is the actor, though that his performances can carry you through movies absolutely. like that. You know, oh, and, absolutely. and that's okay. Um, yeah. Cafe Society, I man, I can't tell you the last Woody Allen movie I liked. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been a, it's been a long time. So that's why I immediately go Infiltrator. I would say the most recent one that I would highly suggest is one I can't even remember what it's called because it's got the weirdest name. <laughs> it's like Wilson? the dude from the other corner around the street in the building who's dead. <laughs> who's and you're dead? like, well, it's Josh Brolin as a screenwriter who has writer's block. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Just look up Josh Brolin and Woody Allen, and that's what it's called. What was the Owen Wilson that one that he just did? Where yeah, that remember. one's garbage. Oh, so, oh. I'm just saying, the one that I, if I could recommend the most recent Woody Allen movie that was like, oh my God, this is crazy. It yeah. wasn't a comedy. It was like a weird thriller. So, 